friends, it's Jessie here. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. For today's video, we're going to be stuffing my sinking funds for January. I have everything I need laid out here in front of me. I've got the cash that I plan to incorporate into my sinking funds. I have my sinking funds folder. It is an accordion folder that has, I believe it's 12 slots, maybe 13. Regardless, it's the perfect amount of slots for all of my sinking funds. Each of my sinking funds gets its own um, tab, and I keep inside there the cash for the sinking fund, as well as a little index card to keep track of the comings and goings of each fund. And I also have my two-page hybrid budget system. This is the worksheet set that I always come back to every time I sit down to work in my budget. There is a section for pretty much anything you need throughout the month for your budget, a monthly section to keep track of monthly bills and things that come out just once a month, or you can also use it for your monthly budget for your variable expenses like I do. Um, I write out a monthly budget for groceries, household, eating out, all the various categories, and then I keep track of the spending in those categories in the weekly section. So it's like a little bit of a weekly check-in. Um, you can write down your categories, how much you spent, and then what you have remaining in that budget for the rest of the month. It'll just help you stay on track. There's a section here for savings, so you can write down any payments you make to your savings accounts. There's also a place here for debt payments. If you, like me, are on a debt-free journey, it's a great way to keep track of how many payments you made to your debt in the month. And the section we're working with today, the sinking funds. So if you're not familiar with sinking funds, for me, the way that I use them, I consider them little mini savings accounts for things that happen less often than monthly, but things I know are coming up. So I always use the example of Christmas. You know Christmas is coming. Rather than wait till December to try to hurry up and scrounge up the money to buy Christmas gifts, why not save in a sinking fund all year long? Each paycheck, each month, however you wanna do it, just sock a little bit of money away for Christmas, that way come December, you're not scrambling and busting the budget. I have 12 or 13 categories now for my sinking funds. Um, just things that I know are coming up that I wanna be prepared for. Some of them have like a goal amount, a certain amount that I wanna save. Um, think like an annual membership, for example. If you have an annual membership that costs $200, and you want to save every month for 12 months, you can just take that 200, divide it by 12, and you want to save, oh, can you see that? There you go. You know, $16.5, so save $17 each month. By the end of the year, you'll have that $200 you need. Others, like car maintenance, which you'll see me save for today, I don't have necessarily a stopping point. I just sock a little bit of money away every month. That way, should we need an oil change, should our car break down, we've got some money set aside. There is nothing more devastating to a budget than an emergency with your car that you haven't prepared for. So I use sinking funds to prepare for those inevitabilities, things that happen every year. It's different from a uh, savings account that's just like rainy day savings that doesn't have a specific goal in mind or something specific you're saving for. You're just kind of saving for a rainy day or saving for something that comes up. This, These sinking funds have a specific goal in mind. So now that we've discussed what sinking funds are, let me tell you what my categories are. I'm going to set this fat stack of cash off to the side. We're going to come back to it. For now, I'm just going to write out my sinking fund categories, which are as follows. I have my youngest son, Austin. He gets his own category. Kids are expensive. Seems like every month he needs something, whether it be clothing, school supplies. We use the sinking fund for all of his extracurricular activities. Um, there's always something that Austin needs, and I want to be prepared for it, so I put a little bit of money aside each month specifically for him. Then I have Austin's car, which 
I saved for last year using a 50 envelope challenge, um, which I did post a results video for that challenge if you want to see how much I managed to save in 2022 for Austin's car using the 50 envelope challenge. I'll put that um, video in a card above. If you're watching on a computer, you should be able to just click the little link that pops up. It'll take you right to that video. If you're watching on a TV or a phone, I think it's different. Um, I'll try to remember to put the link for that video in the description box. Um, or if I forget, which is likely, you can just go back in my video archives and find it. It was a recent video. Um, that was a lot of fun to film. So that's Austin's car. This year we are not doing any fun savings challenges necessarily, at least not primarily. There are some savings challenges I'm doing to add to this car fund, but we're also using it like a sinking fund and putting money into it from our regular monthly budget. So that's why it's here in sinking funds. Next we have camping. My husband and I own a camper. It sits on an annual campsite, which we pay for annually. <laughs> um, and so we know that is something that's coming. So we save up a little bit each month for that. We also take like um, camping supplies from the sinking fund. So if we need like a propane tank or if we need firewood, um, that a lot of times will come from our camping fund. Next, we have car maintenance. We own a newer car. Um, it's a 2021 Subaru Forester. We love it. Um, so we're not expecting any, like, super devastating repairs anytime soon. But you never know. You want to prepare for it, right? Um, and this also covers things like oil changes, if we need windshield washer fluid, that'll come from car maintenance. And this is also our yearly registration with our cars, our, our car rather. Um, and also my husband's motorcycle comes out of this car maintenance, anything his motorcycle needs. So that is car maintenance. Our next category is celebrate. We use this for any sort of celebration, whether it be anniversaries, birthdays, that sort of thing. We have a lot of birthdays in January, so we're going to be adding a bit of money to celebrate for that. We'll go over what I'm going to add to these funds once I kind of get them all listed out. Next, we have that one I used as an example, Christmas. You know it's coming. Uh, clothing is another one. So this is clothing for my husband and I. Um, we usually will get clothing for Austin from his fund, although I have been known to dip into the clothing fund to get Austin something if his fund is low. The great thing about personal finance is it's personal. It doesn't have to make sense to anybody else how you do your budget as long as it makes sense to you. And um, I can always change my mind, right? Um, the money set aside for clothing for my husband and I, if I decide to use that money for something else, I can do that. But that's the intention I have at the moment for setting this money aside. Next is holidays. We have a specific sinking fund for Christmas because that's the biggie. That's where we spend the most money. The rest of the holidays just get kind of clumped up into one fund. So that's like Easter, Valentine's Day. Um, I don't can't think of any other holidays that we celebrate off the top of my head, but you know what I mean, the smaller holidays that don't cost us quite as much. Next we have home insurance. We have a mobile home that we own, so the insurance premiums on our home is not super, super expensive, but it's something we pay for annually, so we save for it a little bit each month. Next is a category that I had in here for a long time, and then I took out, and now I'm putting it back. It's home maintenance, so things like uh, furnace filters would come out of this if we wanted to buy paint to paint something. Um, we just recently had to make some home repairs, like small things, that would come out of home maintenance. Hunting, my husband is an avid hunter. We use this fund for anything he needs in terms of, um, you know, hunting supplies, also his hunting license, his deer tags, all of that. Medical is for anything medical. If we buy cough medicine, it comes out of this fund. If we have co-pays, prescriptions, band-aids, all of that is covered under medical. And lastly, we have subscriptions. We have a few things that we pay for annually. Think like Amazon Prime, 
uh, Disney Plus, anything that is like an annual membership comes out of subscriptions. All right, let's talk about how much we're putting into each fund and then we'll get them stuffed. So Austin's fund is going to get $150. His car fund is going to get $200. Camping is also going to get $200. Car maintenance is going to get $100. Celebrations is going to get $200. Hopefully that'll be enough. Like I said, we have lots of January birthdays. Christmas is going to get 100 Clothing is going to get 10 Holidays is going to get 50 Home insurance is also getting 50 um, Home maintenance is getting 50 as well. Hunting will be 30 Medical will be 50 and subscriptions is getting 10 which should total out that $1,200. So let me really quickly just use my calculator, double, triple check that, and then we'll get stuffing. That is indeed $1,200. So we can set this off to the side now and go ahead and stuff my envelopes. By the way, I do have all of my January budget printables available in my Etsy shop. If you want to try out any of these budget worksheets for your own budget, um, I have that. There's a coupon code listed down below as well. Purchase them, print them out as many times as you want. I have dated, undated, whatever you need. Okay. Okay, so I have my little cash tray here. I have my sinking funds in their little accordion folder. I love this accordion folder because it has a flat bottom, stands up all on its own, makes it really easy. And I have the cash. So we're going to count this cash up quickly. Make sure I have that $1,200 that I am expecting to have. I've already gone through and chosen the dom denominations that I need. So this shouldn't take too long. Okay, so we have 100 plus 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,020. Then we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 5, 10, Plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is indeed twelve hundred. So we have what we need. Let's get stuffing. So we're gonna start out with Austin. And for Austin's fund, we're adding a hundred and fifty. So we're gonna do Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty. 60, 81, 20, 40. Okay, I took an extra 20. Good thing I double counted that. 50. Okay, so that's 150. For a total of 350. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, three, twenty, forty, fifty. So Austin has a three hundred and fifty dollars to work with. Next we have Austin's car. So we already have thirteen hundred and ten dollars in this fund. Twelve seventy five of it is in the bank. I'm going to write a little note so that I remember that. 
Um, and we're gonna add $200 here, so. One, 20, 40, 60, 82. So we have 1275, 1375. Let's do this easier. We'll just move this five here just to make it easier to count. I don't have any fancy placeholders or anything. So 1275, 1280. 1380, 1400, 2040, 60, 80, 90, 1500, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh my gosh, so 1510. I feel like you guys could totally see my um, brain like trying to load and figure that out. That was hard. Um, and that was from... January 1st. Okay, so that's Austin's car. Okay, next up then we have camping, and camping is going to get 200, which should give us a total of 600, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. So we now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86. Perfect. I always like to double and triple check myself because I'm famous for counting wrong. As you saw, I'm not the best at math sometimes. So um, I apologize if it's kind of tedious watching me count and recount everything, but that's just how I do it. Car maintenance is getting 100 for a total of 500 if everything is accurate. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. So we have 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84. Four. These bills are not wanting to cooperate. 20, 40, 60, 80, 500 in car maintenance, which is a great amount to have. All right, next we have celebrate. So I always give my sons $100 each for their birthday in cash. So that's 200 right off the top of this. Plus we have to do like birthday cake, birthday dinner. We don't do big like birthday parties or celebrations, but... Um, we do just kind of like an at-home family thing, and I have Robbie, Austin, and my husband Eric all have birthdays in January, so it can be pretty pricey. Uh, we're adding 200 today. I can always take money out of my grocery budget as well um, to help us fund their birthday celebrations, so I think we'll be okay. Uh, 200, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. So that's essentially going to go right to my boys for their gifts. Um, and then we'll have 205 left for, um, you know, making their birthday dinners happen. They get to choose whatever they want for their birthday. They can either choose to go out or have a home-cooked meal. They get to choose their cake. So... Yeah, let's just make sure there's 405 here. 20, 40, 60, 81. Oops. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we do have 405 there. All right, next we have... Christmas, which is starting out with nothing. For 2022, we ended up going over our Christmas budget by $108, but we had $100 in our holiday fund that I took from, so we ended up over budget for Christmas by $8. I thought that was pretty darn good and way better than putting Christmas on credit, which we did for years. So 
celebrating that we're adding a hundred dollars is that what I said yes a hundred dollars to Christmas I ultimately want to put away more than a hundred dollars each month but that's what we're doing this month because that's what we can afford I needed to put a little bit more into celebrate to catch us up there so hopefully next month we'll be able to put more into Christmas all right clothing is getting ten dollars and I think that's where I'm gonna stick the ones I couldn't get fives so we ended up with ones and that's fine five six seven eight nine ten yep okay so I'm just going to mark it down on the card I always like to update my card so that I know what I've got in here should be 110 20 40 60 81 and those singles I just put in there is 10 um, clothing is one of those things on my list of items not to buy in 2023 if you missed that video where I talked about my 2023 no buy I will link it again in a card above I'll try to remember to put it in the um, description box as well not buying clothing for myself unless I have a need for something specific so I shouldn't need to fund this nearly as much as I did in 2022 I was going clothing shopping crazy last year and for many years honestly which is part of the reason I decided to do the no buy to try to heal my shopping addiction um, you guys know my word for the year is heal and that's one of the areas of my life I'm hoping to heal all right holidays is going to get 50 and that should bring it up to 55 so we'll do two 20s and a 10 20 40 50 51 52 53 54 55 right now the next holiday we'll be celebrating is valentine's day but we don't do like a big valentine's day i usually just buy all of my guys a little chocolate or something maybe i'll get flowers if my husband's feeling um you know particularly festive but we don't do a lot in terms of valentine's day so 50 dollars in there should be more than enough um we're gonna add 50 to home insurance which should bring this up to 650 so again we'll do two 20s and a 10 20 40 50 51 50 perfect All right, home maintenance, we're going to add, did we say 50? Yep, 50. So that should bring this fund up to 60, which is not um, a lot, but every fund has to start somewhere. So two 20s and a 10, 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. That's home maintenance, and this will build up pretty darn quick, provided we don't immediately drain it. Sometimes we do that with sinking funds, just depends on what we need. Hunting is getting 30, which will bring it up to 35. Hunting season's not till October, so we have plenty of time to fill this fund, build it up a little bit. So 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Medical has 200 and we are adding 50 today for a total of 250. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two, twenty, forty, fifty. Perfect. And last but not least. We have subscriptions. We do have some subscriptions coming out soon. Amazon Prime, I think, is due in March. Um, 
I'm not sure when Walmart Plus is due. The other subscription that we definitely take out of here is Disney Plus that we pay for annually. And I just joined Thrive Market, so I'll be pulling money out of that, out of this subscriptions fund for that. So we'll definitely be adding more money to this next month, but this month, since we had so much in here, I decided just to add 10 to bring it up to 410. I do have two fives left, so that'll go here. 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, and 10. All right, my friends, so that is it for my sinking funds update for January. I'm very excited. I was able to put $1,200 into our funds. This boy is getting fat, so we might have to do a bill exchange soon. Let me know if that's a video you'd like to see. Let me know what sinking funds you have in your budget. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you think you're already sub subscribed, double check and make sure because YouTube's doing that thing where they unsubscribe people again. I've gotten many comments about that recently. So double check, make sure you're subscribed. You can click the notification bell to get notified every time I post a new video. And I post new videos every weekday for the most part. So, um not just budgeting videos. I post lots of lifestyle content too. So if those are topics you're interested in. I'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.